Hey there downtowners, Jay Revel here with another exciting installment of Downtown TV. We're your number one source for everything going on in the downtown area in Florida's capital city. We've got another exciting week of great events coming up. I've got some great guests here with me today. Gary Pettit, Florida Museum of History. Museum of Florida, Museum of Florida History. <laughs> I get that wrong every single time, but it's still museum. one of my favorite places. And Ana Perez from the Knot House Museum here on Park Avenue. Uh, We've got a lot of really great things going on downtown. A lot of people don't realize how many great events happen that are incorporated with both of your institutions, with the museum uh, uh, down on uh, Bruno, Bruno Street. Street and the museum here on Park Avenue. Tell us a little bit about what we've got going on. We've got Hispanic Heritage Festival. Yeah, there's a, so it's, it's Fiesta Florida. Uh, this is the first time we're doing it. It's a Hispanic Heritage Festival, so you know, for anybody who doesn't quite already know, it's a Hispanic Heritage Month right now. Yeah, September, great. Exactly. So we've got a Hispanic Heritage Festival, and we're going to have live music, some wine tasting from Latin American wines. Everybody uh, loves that. Oh yeah, and that's it's all free too. And uh, we're going to have salsa dancing. Uh, the Azucar Dance Company over at FSU cool. is going to be teaching some salsa dancing on the mezzanine. Uh, Carlos Odria Trio is going to be doing some live music. We've got a lecture about the history of uh, Spanish music and Latin music in Florida and the United States. And it's just going to be all free and open to the public. Most people, when they think about museums, they don't think about eating, drinking, yeah. and dancing. Yeah. But we've got an opportunity to do some pretty cool stuff down there uh, this week, and I think that's going to be a great event. It sounds like y'all have uh, really put together another awesome experience down there. Yeah, we tried to we try to make it some sort of free event that's yeah. going to bring people out in the evening and be a really good time, not what you'd normally expect. Well, and you, and you do your monthly series of events too, like mm -hmm. Third Thursday, where you have a lot of uh, the similar type of activities going on, but sometimes maybe on a different scale. Those are great. People need to know about those. You can learn about those at your website, which is museumoflordahistory.com there you go and uh the third thursdays are actually going on a hiatus while we try and figure oh, out cool. some new events such as this go. one so this is this is going to be something uh we're going to experiment with so please come on out and give us your feedback too because you yeah. know we want to know what people think if they prefer something over the other thing let us know yeah and if people haven't been to the museum in a while it's such a great place to go and bring kids family friends people yeah. downtown we send people down there all the time to go and get an experience uh, of florida's history and that takes us to our next great event coming up on Saturday, Saturday which is Swing Dance in the Street here out in front of the Knot House. Tell us a little bit about that, Anna. It's at 6.30. Uh, what's really great about it is we're gonna have the Tallahassee Swing Band come in and play live music. And we're also gonna have Michael Strickland and his wife, who is actually the instructor for the FSU Swing Club, come teach people how to dance swing. So it's gonna be a whole day or evening of 1930s inspired fun. Very cool. And there's tie-in with the history here at the Knott House as well. Absolutely. Uh, this is the home of William Knott, correct? That's right. He was the, what, comptroller of Florida? He time? was at one time, yeah. but uh, he was also the state treasurer state of Florida treasurer. during the Great Depression. Right. So quite a lot of huge contribution sure to thing. the state at the time. No doubt. So we all, even at the house, we'll have an opportunity to see the home. We'll offer tours of the home. So you get to see how the home looked in the 1930s. Yeah. So it really is very immersive. And yeah, it's a really important uh, period in our history Absolutely. here. And yeah. I think that the Knott House does a great job of really reflecting the entire history yeah. of this home. you got a great event each May with the Emancipation Celebration right. that goes on here. So you really do tend to tie in the full scale of history that has taken place in Tallahassee to this great museum. And we're just really fortunate here in Tallahassee, especially in our downtown, to have so many great historical assets. But you know, just like everything else we do in Tallahassee, we always turn it into a fun uh, environment and really try to have a party with it, which is yeah. cool and something very unique that we think people, particularly our downtown fans, will really enjoy getting out this weekend. And the weather's great. We couldn't ask for a better environment oh, yeah. out here. I mean, it's it's 70 degrees out, yeah. sunny, blue skies. Everybody loves it. We're going to hope that that holds on into the weekend and hope that everybody comes out and checks out everything going on at these great museums. Yeah, and they're, and they're both free. Right. Both are absolutely everybody free. likes free <laughs> yeah. stuff, right? We're a big fan of that here in Tallahassee for sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. First, we've got great activities lined up all weekend long downtown. You can learn about these great events and many, many more at TallahasseeDowntown.com. And remember, come downtown. We're open for business. We've got free great events and lots of fun stuff going on. And most importantly, we're always in session.